Hello and welcome back to day five of the holiday. So today we are going to Dartington Estate. This is a fielded area where there's farmland, fields, there's some deer parks, lots of wildlife, lots of nature and lots of photo opportunities. It is a relatively long walk there. Here is the sign showing you how long, but in comparison to yesterday's walk, it's not too long. We've come this route before. We came down here on day two for the steam train. I think it was day two. No, it wasn't. It was day three, the steam train. And we're just coming to a beautiful area behind me. It's probably quite blown out for you, but you can see we're coming to some water. Now, today I've brought all of my camera gear. I've got the Canon 250D and 55 to 18 millimeter lens, which I'm vlogging on right now. And then in my backpack, I've got the 7D Mark II and then the Sigma 105 millimeter lens and Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter lens. This means we'll get all the opportunities to do macro photography, wildlife photography, landscape photography, and hopefully we'll get some cool photos. Now, as you can probably tell, it's not as sunny today as it has been. The sun has gone behind clouds, which is nice. We don't have to get worried about being sunburnt. Ironically, I got my cap out for today when it's not as necessary, but it is still really hot. Hopefully having the clouds in the sky will reduce the contrast in some of the images I've noticed because we've had full sun. In some of these photos, there's a lot of contrast. And so hopefully we'll get less of that contrast, more kind of soft light and get more even light. I won't have to do more editing because I've been recently I've been brightening the shadows and reducing the highlights quite a lot, which isn't ideal. If I can get a nice even light, that is better. Now, as I say, we've got quite a long walk ahead of us. I'm gonna keep walking, and when we arrive at the estate, I'll let you know and then tell you a bit about the area. And we've just come through the entrance to Dartington Estate. So we're now here and you can see we have beautiful fields and forests. There was an old building back there. I don't know if that's actually a historic building or anything, but I think it's time that I tell you a little bit about Dartington Estate. Now, I'm not a historian and I haven't done that much research, but the research I have done is TripAdvisor. So they say the Dartington Hall Estate is a 12,000 acre mix of farmland, woodland, commercial spaces and resident accommodation. It's home to 28 acres of Grade 2 listed gardens, which open year-round from dusk till dawn. With a rich sense of history and a host of delightful features, from a new bridge by artist Peter Randolph Page to a sculpture by Henry Moore, so on and so forth, is worth exploring all year round. I will give you a little screenshot of this so you can read it for yourself. But that's a few bits about the estate, and I believe we're now headed to the village. Quick correction, I think I said 12,000 acres, I meant 1,200 acres. It's not quite that big. People are just getting a quick refreshment, but in a minute we will be at the deer park in all of the nature and get some cool photos. I did just make a really quick purchase in the other shop, that globe which you saw. I now have it, I'll show it to you in more detail at the end of the video, but it was too cool to leave behind. And we are now coming out of the woods into the field at last. So we now need to keep our eyes out for wildlife. Haven't seen anything much yet. There's a pigeon flying through the sky, but it may take a while to find something. We might not find something. And yeah, we just gotta keep our eyes peeled and who knows what we'll find.
and we did get a quick glance at the deer over this fence but they're too far away to take any photos of yet so we're now just heading down this path and we are definitely in the deer area as I say we have seen the deer so hopefully we'll get close enough to them to get some good photos we don't have time to do a long loop around the deer park but we do have time for a short loop so you can see down in this kind of wooded area here we might get some deer walking around again just having to keep our eyes peeled and hopefully we'll see some deer and this deer behind me is the only one we found so i've taken some photos not ideal not the best photos sorry about that but there is a deer lying over in the shade because he's in the shade the iso is very high so there's probably going to be a lot of noise in the photo and yeah we got a photo of a deer that's some wildlife photography for you if we see any more wildlife obviously i'm still going to take photos and we've got the whole walk back but this is the deer that we found and we are back at the cottage as you can see i've grabbed a jumper because i'm down here in the basement if you haven't seen the house tour go back to episode one of the holiday vlogs and you'll see the house tour but down here it's a lovely almost sweet down here but it is pretty cold which is ironic and contrast to the rest of the day but that is the explanation for the jumper and i need to apologize because we didn't get that many wildlife photos. Now obviously if you've watched my channel for a long time or you go back and watch my videos you'll see we do take lots of photos and I promise I can take good photos. Today we simply didn't get that opportunity. We went out and we had an amazing time in Dartington Estate. I loved the time I had there and yeah it was great fun. We did see some deer as I showed you but we just didn't get the opportunity to take any photos and that's one thing I think people sometimes struggle to understand about photography. Us photographers can't take photos if we don't get the opportunity and that doesn't mean we're bad photographers, it just means we haven't had the opportunity to take the photo in the first place. So, before we finish the video, I'm going to show you the little globe that I bought because I mentioned it earlier and I want to show it to you because it's so cool. And here it is, wrapped up in tissue paper, so I'm just going to open it up for you. They wrapped it up really well and here it is there we go so that's really cool and look out for it in the background of future videos so with all that being said i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please like and subscribe and go check the links in the description to my patreon and my shop i'd love it if you could show some support and i will see you in the next one